Hi guys, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on chapter 6.3, Geometric Proof, and this is a great A video. I hope you enjoy it, and let's start. So you need three things. Um, first, you, we'll talk about how to prove an exterior angle of triangle, um, which is uh, theory. Uh, then second, we're going to... Um, well, second and third, we're going to use our theorems to s answer the questions which they gave the answer to you. And I know that sounds a bit weird. It's like um, they will give you the answer of a question, but you have to say that it's right or wrong. That is basically what this chapter is all about. So, yeah, let's start. So, the question is quite simple. Just prove A plus B equals to C. And I added a D there just so you, uh, it's a bit easier to manage. So, how should we prove this? We don't know about this theory at all. We haven't gone through it yet. So, it looks a bit complicated. Well, it doesn't. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, so what do you need to do as first? We know a few theories. We can say that A plus B plus D is equal to 180 degree because of angle sum of triangle. Um, and I'm not going to write that down, but when you're doing exam, please do write it down because those are marks. So after this, we know that C plus D equals to 180 because they're on a straight line, adjacent angles on a straight line, sum to 180. So now I've got two equations. What can we do now? Um, you can do substitution or just, um, well, subtract one equation with another. I did a, uh, the first equation subtracted by the second equation, so it became 180 minus 180 equals 0 and just a plus b plus d minus d plus c and you know how to solve that um, hopefully by now and you should get a plus b minus c equals 0 and finally if you rearrange it you've proved a plus b equals c and that's the question. So this is uh, called exterior angles of triangle. So you can just write ext. Uh, well, I'll type that out, I guess. Uh, of So typically, I do exterior angle of triangle. There we go. Uh, of course, you write it uh, using a pen that is of same um, thickness, but that is how I would present it. You can use words exterior angle of triangle. It works. Uh, so, this is the short form, and this is the theory, um, two angles in the triangle sum up to the exterior angle of the other corner. So now, let's do some um, harder things. What I know right here is there's a right angle triangle named ABC, and MC, uh, M is the midpoint of AB, so this side equals to this side, right? So, how should we prove this? Um, I'll give you a second, and I'm going to move um, the answer onto the screen, so that I can talk it through step by step. So, yeah, I'll bring it up right now. So here, I have changed the diagram, I added a circle centered M with radius A 
and well, M A. Why? Because we know that uh, A and B are a straight is a straight line. A B is a straight line. M is the midpoint. So these two can touch the circle. What about C? Well, it's a ninety degree, and the hypotenuse is actually a diameter. So according to the theory um, theorem, uh, angles in the semicircle, this will touch on right on the circle s circumference. So actually, MC is a is a radius. So radius will equal to radius will equal to radius. Hence, MC is equal to AM. So that is the explanation. Verbally, nothing written. So yeah, that's this question. So I figured that there aren't much about this chapter to talk about, and normally or typically, um, in the non-calculator paper, there will only be half a question about uh, this. I say half a question because it comes up about twice, like once every two paper or two years. So it's not really uh, that important uh, if you do say so. But if you want an A, definitely those are easy marks to get. So. You have to calm down and think carefully when you're looking at graphs and drawings and try to spot things that you know. And so practicing is actually one of the best way to get you familiar with the questions and how you should solve them. Also these questions are quite common in math challenges. so. Um, those will be good practice for um, these particular proofs. So ending off this video, I have this one question for you to think about. It's quite simple really, it's quite... Um, half of it is done for you uh, during the example and I just need you to prove that this is indeed an equal lateral. Uh, did I spell that well? wrong? I think I did. Is equal U I L? Is it? Or oh, never mind. Spelling doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm not a good speller, anyways. So, um, yeah. Uh, in the count of five, I'm going to reveal the answer. So, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, more verbal proving. Uh, we've got thirty degree given on this angle, and we know this is a triangle. They uh, so angle sum of triangle is one hundred and eighty. Hence, give this angle sixty degree uh, because this is the ninety degree. Then we do a circle around M and as I've explained it touches three of the sides so we know that this side is equal to this side then we are going to do a, a base angle of isosceles triangle because we know ABM is right now an isosceles triangle so we can get that this angle is equal to 60 degree again so again angle sum of triangle we get this angle 60 so because three angles are 60 degree that means that this triangle is an equilateral triangle so that is the full proof for that question and that will end the um, video right here so um, if you've learned something uh, please leave me a like uh, and share it with your friends if it helps and yeah, I'll see you next time.